The South African Wind Energy Association says in 2023 alone, the wind industry contributed more than 46 gigawatt hours to the national grid. Ahead of Global Wind Day, the association says a lot of gains have been made, but there is much greater potential for the sustainable energy source in the country. The industry body says, however, there are a number of obstacles to overcome. SABC News reporter Mariska Boerta visited the Aurora wind farm on the Cape West Coast for a closer look at how much uh, how such an operation works. Geared up and suited up, we're in Friedenburg at the Aurora wind farm uh, where we went through a strict uh, security and safety protocol briefing earlier to allow us onto the farm where behind us is a wind turbine. Now visibly there's a lot of mist so we can't see much of the turbine but I am told the wind that's blowing now, it's a gentle breeze, is perfect for the creation of wind power. To chat to us about um, the South African wind uh, energy industry a little bit is Morongwa Ramaboa. She's the Chief Communications Officer of the South African Wind Energy Association. Morongwa, thank you very, very much for your time. Um, first of all, I understand this, this breeze is ideal for, for capturing wind for energy. Uh, hi, Mariska, and thank you for joining us today. And you're absolutely right. As you can see, we're enjoying a considerable amount of wind today, which further demonstrates how wind energy is leading, or the wind industry is leading, uh, the transition from a fossil fuel-based economy to a low-carbon renewable energy future. Why is wind energy such a, an optimal um, choice for sustainable energy? Um, firstly, South Africa is very fortunate uh, to enjoy an abundance of natural resources such as wind and we've also seen a cost reduction of about 50% of wind mm -hmm. making it a more uh, affordable renewable energy source and um, we have 34 operational wind farms uh, with a total output of 3,000 over 3,400 megawatts and essentially what this means is that annually we're able to power over 3.6 million households in South Africa wow, that's last year yeah it is um, and last year alone we contributed over 48 gigawatts uh, hours uh, to the national grid so really this really drives a point home that wind energy is one of the leading renewable energy technologies that are helping to circumvent uh, load shedding and based on um, the profile of wind we are able to generate between 1000 to 2000 megawatts um, of capacity which is almost equivalent to one to two stage between one and two stages of load shedding very impressive so how is it going with the wind industry in south africa is it is it going well are there areas that where there's concerns, where there can be improvement? Uh, absolutely. Grid capacity remains one of our primary concerns. Mm -hmm. And we think there'll be more grid, um, there'll be more wind available should there be capacity on the grid. So grid capacity is one of our major focus, which we continue to advocate for as an industry, yeah. uh, as well as policy certainty. So we're working quite closely with our stakeholders, especially government, uh, to ensure that we have a conducive wind market in South Africa and that the wind sector continues to thrive. Yeah. And we do this through a number of initiatives, um, such as our energy drive, where we've partnered with with ESCOM uh, in Mpumalanga where we go around schools in those previously disadvantaged areas to actually introduce these renewable energy technologies and today we are here in the Western Cape uh, to also shed light on what Aurora Wind Power is doing in this community that they operate from um, which then also emphasizes the point of taking the community with us yes. because we can't leave anyone behind in the just energy transition. Mm. Um, in terms of wind energy, this is the last question, how does it assist in, in job creation? That's one of the key factors with any industry. How does it assist in job creation? From a job creation point of view, uh, in 2023 alone we created over 23,000 jobs, 80% uh, in construction. And we've also just heard that one of our hosts here, he started in the industry in 2007. So they really sh it demonstrates that there is sustainability and that there are multiple job opportunities that are available in the sector in any capacity and at any level. He started with no knowledge and today he's able to climb up that wind turbine and give us a beautiful tour 
of what um, wind energy is all about and how much wind is contributing to this area and ultimately to the national grid. So from a job uh, creation point of view, the wind sector is really, really determined and uh, deliberate in creating as many possibilities. As an association, we also have a wind industry internship program, which places young people across various um, well, in the wind industry across uh, all our members so that they can get exposure uh, to what the wind sector is all about and the opportunities that it presents.